Good morning, kings and queens. How are you? Wow, I look riveting. Truly. Yesterday on my Instagram, I asked you guys what kind of content you like to see on YouTube. And I think it's no secret that I haven't been as active here as I was earlier in the year, just because quite frankly, I've been really busy with planning my wedding, which is now over and having a full-time job and also doing YouTube. So when I was looking through all of the comments and people responding back, a lot of them said a day in my life video, like vlogs, like it doesn't have to be this big production every single time. And so I woke up in a really good mood today. I have a lot to do today and my husband is going to be gone for most of the day and night, which means it's a perfect time to do a vlog. It is a gorgeous fall day here in Nashville and I kind of have a lot to do on my second business side of things. I have two ads to film, one for Instagram and one for TikTok, which I will talk about. One is with M Cosmetics, which is really, really exciting because they're one of my favorite brands of all time and I was just shocked that they even reached out to me. I am making a really full of veggies bolognese for dinner tonight so I thought we could do that together as well and just kind of go through my day with me and my dog so I hope you'll stick around if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe we do vlogs makeup skincare a little bit of fashion and I would love to have you join current skin situation. Honestly, I feel really good about it. As you guys know from like, I think a couple videos back, I am not on tretinoin right now. And honestly, it's been hard for me to think about getting back on it because I know how much of a struggle it is to start back up on a prescription strength retinol. It's just a lot of stress on your skin and mentally and emotionally. And I feel like my skin is doing really well right now, so it's honestly up in the air. I don't know what to think. I don't know if I should start on an over-the-counter retinol, if I should just keep doing what I'm doing. I, I'm only 28, but focusing on anti-aging is also pushed on us at such a young age that I just don't know what my next step is in terms of that. Right now, I'm really focusing on hydrating the skin and protecting it with SPF and whatever comes next comes next, but right now, that's what I'm trying to focus on. So my routine is super duper hydrating, and um, as it gets really, really dry out, I just wanna continue to add more hydration into my skin rather than stripping it. So here's where we're at after my routine. She's glowy, she's dewy, she's plump. She's got a few, you know, pimples, but nothing some concealer can't take care of. Am I right? I am about to do a little bit of makeup for my M Cosmetics ad. It is about their Sunscape highlighters. Let me see, I think I've got one on hand here. I don't, they're downstairs. Sorry. But I need to do kind of something very natural and minimal that will really showcase those highlighters and um, how beautiful they are. So I don't wanna do anything too crazy. Just kind of a nice daily look like I usually do. And because I self tan my body, it's really not that different, but it's a little bit. I'm gonna try something. I'm going to apply the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel in the shade Sun Glow, which is the bronze shade. I'm just gonna put this all over my face and see if it kind of, it's you know quite a dark shade, but it's really thin and I'm gonna see oh my god yeah like look how thin that is it just adds like an automatic natural glow to your face and gives it this beautiful sun-kissed hue so I thought that might kind of be a good idea before I go in with everything else I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and see how it looks because ideally I'd like to go in with like minimal coverage and just have this kind of match the rest of my body so let's see I feel like that kind of looks like I just self-tanned. 
I love that. I am going to just use some concealer too to keep it again really light and glowy. I feel like since it's been so dry the past couple weeks here in Nashville, I'm really trying to keep things as minimal and as hydrating as possible as to keep it from kind of bunching up and layering up and uh especially around my mouth i'm just so dry it just looks cakey no matter what i do even with like a very light coverage concealer it still looks cakey so i just got to be careful with that but i think that's what i'm gonna do is just like kind of cover up a little bit of redness with this concealer and let the glowy super gel do the work for the rest kind of love that I'm also at the same time as this packing for uh, another wedding. Can you believe it? I guess, you know, we're just at that age, but my husband is in a wedding this weekend in Houston. And so we are back on the wedding grind. I'm just trying to pack minimal makeup because I really don't need to do that crazy of a look. However, it is a black tie wedding. So I do need to kind of amp it up a bit because I will be wearing a full length formal dress and I want to make sure my makeup kind of matches the occasion but I always feel prettier with less makeup on so I probably won't do too much. I feel like this looks super pretty for a base. I'm impressed. I'm gonna start doing that more often. And now I think I'm gonna bring this. It's kind of big though and it's glass but it's okay. It's one ounce and I like it. I'm going to bring the Kosas cloud set powder but I'm not going to use it today but i'm definitely gonna need it day of i will say i've really been enjoying this persona cosmetics bronzer this cream bronzer so i think i might use this this weekend and use the m cosmetics bronzer today since i am doing an ad for m cosmetics but this stuff is really really nice and it kind of reminds me of the m cosmetics bronzer i have talked about how much i like these and how soft they are they are very that very that if you are like new to the cream bronzer or blush game, I think you would really like them because they're so easy to blend, including their like their other blushes in this line. I would love for them to make a highlighter in this line, even though these are like mostly matte. I think it'd be gorgeous. I think that just looks so natural and tan and gorgeous. Put a little on the nose, a little where my double chin is. And that looks like a lot, but look at that. It just blends out so beautifully and you guys know I don't even really like applying product straight to my face but this one it's just so easy and so like blendable and creamy that you can without messing up your base which is pretty rare I feel like most of the time I end up dealing with a base that's all messed up because I applied the product directly to the face so super impressed with this line I feel like my TikTok really brought a lot of attention to it not to like toot my own horn but Toot toot because now it's sold out. But if you are looking for an alternative that has a similar feel, I would totally do the Persona Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna wear the blush as well since we're kind of going down the M Cosmetics route. Also going to apply directly. This is a really gorgeous terracotta shade. This is the shade Pearl Tea. I'm just gonna kind of bring that up towards the temple. Look how pretty that is. Just a beautiful tan terracotta, my favorite kind. Bring it over the bridge for a little youthful look. Now, I don't know what blush to bring this weekend, though, is the problem. I definitely want something very neutral that's easy and glowy. Never go wrong with Tower 28 blushes. Also love these from Tarte. Really been into those as well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'm going to bring these two. The M Cosmetics one that I just put on. And then this one from EVO Beauty in the shade Where You Can. It's like a really nice pink color. Just to add a little bit of rosiness to the cheeks. Nothing too crazy. I might as well just put some on now just to give you a little preview. I'm actually going to put this one on the brush first. And just pop it on the cheeks. Oh, that's pretty. Just a little rosiness. I know, I am going extra on the blush today, but... I like it and I'm kind of living for this bronzy look so I kind of want to go with that this weekend too look at this freaking beauty pie highlighter it's so pretty it's absolutely a dupe for the Anastasia highlighter it's so so beautiful the Amrezy I mean it's stunning and this is limited edition so if you like this I would definitely 
check out Beauty Pie. I think I'm gonna bring the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter wand because I can really make this very thin and natural and I can also build it up for the night of the wedding. I mentioned that in my last video that I really am liking this milk chalk stick. However, I hate the packaging, but it is gorgeous as an inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna bring that. This is an old limited edition palette from ColourPop. This is the Give It To Me Straight palette, but it has really nice bronzy tones, so I kind of feel like I'm gonna bring this, but another part of me is like, do you really need a whole palette? Like, we all know you're just gonna go with like a wash of matte on the lid and then like maybe a shimmer, so eh, maybe not. Maybe I should just bring a ColourPop shadow. I think I'll just bring this Jones Road eyeshadow. This is Bobbi Brown's makeup brand. It's just a really nice cream bronze shade. And I can just use the persona in the crease to create like a bronze look. So let's just do that. No need to get crazy with it. Plus there's a Sephora on the same street. So you know, if I really need it. <laughs> but let's try this. I'm actually gonna apply this to the brush because if I go in with this thing on my eyeballs, it's gonna be a mess. Just see if we like the tone here. I think for the actual night of, I'm going to bring my Luminous Silk. This is just a gorgeous event foundation. It works so well and it always looks stunning every time I wear it. I'm going way out of order here, but I'm gonna use this Tower 28 Lippy today. I talked about this in the last video too. If you wanna get your hands on this, I think the only way to do that right now is to buy the Sparkly Clean set on Sephora. I think I'm just gonna bring the Kosas Airbrow because it's a nice shade. I don't have to worry about filling in anything and it adds a little bit of fluff to the brows. They look full and bushy. I'm gonna need to get a new one of these soon. This is the Merit Beauty Mascara. This is a tubing mascara. It's my favorite tubing mascara. It's gorgeous. I love a natural bristle wand. I've talked about it so many times because you don't have to set anything. There's no flaking. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna do a video on like how to not use powder in your routine and uh, this will definitely be a major part of that. All right, I'm gonna finish packing and then we're gonna take Penny for a walk. Here are the highlighters that I'm gonna be making the add-on. They are absolutely stunning. This one is my shade in Clarity, but I like to use the other ones as blush toppers and eyeshadows and bronzers. They're absolutely stunning. So I just finished filming for the M Cosmetics ad. Look how beautiful and shiny I am. I just doused myself in those highlighters. Like the, the sun just went away, of course, but I am wearing the shade Clarity as a highlighter. And then, gosh, I can't remember what shade I used as an eyeshadow. I put some on my shoulders, on my decollete. So if I have the video done, I'll put it in or I'll show it to you guys so you can see the finished project. When I saw the new Sunscape highlighters from M Cosmetics, my jaw actually dropped. From the luxury packaging to the carefully chosen shades, these are absolutely stunning. This gel meets powder hybrid Italian formula gives off the most radiant lit from within glow with no chunky glitter or powdery finish. It's easily layered and while it highlights, it also helps blur the skin. It's truly a one of a kind product. And as someone with sensitive skin, I really appreciate that they're vegan, fragrance-free, and ophthalmology tested. There are a lot of ways that you can apply the Sunscape highlighters, but I like to use a fan brush to apply the shade Clarity on my cheekbones, above my brow bone, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. This gives the most natural, barely there, kissed by the sun look. This is my favorite shade on my skin tone as well. It's a soft pearlescent golden pink. You can also use a wet brush before applying if you prefer a more intense pigmentation. I also like to use it on my decollete and shoulders for the extra glow and as an eyeshadow with the shade Serenity. This is the most perfect pink rosy shade and it looks amazing as a wash all over the eyelid. Really, really like that line a lot. So far, honestly, I feel like everything that M Cosmetics has come out with in the past year, I have been impressed with. The only thing that I don't love is their serum blush, which I actually have a whole video on and how I'm like not a huge fan of it that I can link up above. But now I need to go edit it because this is due literally today. So I'm gonna go edit it, add a voiceover, uh, and send it in. And it is 1.23. And yes, I'm listening to Kendall Ray. I don't know if you guys know her. She is an amazing YouTuber that does like true crime and I just listened to her in the background during the day. I probably should change it up because it's pretty, pretty sad, but I don't know, something about her voice makes me feel comfortable. Anyways. Okay, somehow between the last time we talked and now the sun went down and I worked out. And here we are. I'm about to make this. 
Yeah, that's right. This is from my favorite cookbook. It is called Healthier Together and it's by a author named Liz Moody. And uh, that's her right there. She makes a lot of gluten-free vegan recipes that are actually incredibly tasty. Sorry, in the background, I'm watching my comfort show, which is 30 Rock. Um, every winter, I just like restart 30 Rock and it makes me feel so good inside. So anyways, this is a way more veggie bolognese. I'm very excited because my husband is not home. He is out with his friends for dinner. And so I'm going to make myself some pasta and have some wine and just chill. It's going to be a fabulous time. Cheers to you, friend. Hope you're drinking something. Whether it's water or alcohol, baby. They're both good for you in different ways. The reason that tonight is special too and that I'm making this dinner for myself is that my husband is allergic to almonds and I'm using an almond pasta. This is Capelos. <laughs> almond flour pasta. It's a fettuccine. I, I wanted to get a more bolognese style pasta, but this is the closest one I could get gluten gluten-free. It's just almond flour, eggs, tapioca flour, get xanthan gum, sea salt. Very classic gluten-free vibes. And honestly, the macros on this are not that bad. We've got, for three-fourths of a cup, 150 calories and 17 grams of carbs. That's usually the only things that I really look at. Because mama knows her body, and mama's body gets bloatation on carbs. Alexa, what is six servings of three-fourths of a cup? Alexa, how many grams are in one cup? Alexa, how many grams are in one cup? Okay, that took a little while and I had a little bit of wine, so I'm kind of tipsy. And I'm using my phone light to light up my face, so I think that means it's time for me to exit the building. Um, my veggie bolognese looks amazing. I'm starving. And I had a super productive day. I hope that you liked this video. If you want more day in the lives, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next video really soon. Bye.